I am Willard Wyler, master of the macabre. For over 40 years, I directed the most terrifying, visceral, and bloody scenes ever committed to film. My contribution to horror is nothing short of genius. Before my retirement, people demanded to know my secret. How did I make it all look so real? <laughs> if you really want to know how the sausage is made in a Willard Wyler picture, the recipe is simple. First, you add actors. Then, you start grinding. Hello? Hey! Anybody here? This is the place, right? I feel like we're being set up for some punk-ass reality show. This is a Willard Wyler production. One time he held an audition on an abandoned steamship and then sunk it just for effect. Wait, you mean with the actors on it? Yeah, I, I was, uh, I was just getting into character. <coughs> <coughs> Willard Wyler? You're late. Welcome. You've all been chosen to play a unique role in my return to the big screen. My killer comeback. But I'll warn you now, my methods tend to be a little... <laughs> extreme. Is he kidding? I expect my actors to give it their all. Their blood. Their bodies. Everything to the performance. Thus... It is imperative we set the mood to ensure each of you fully commits to your character. What you're about to become a part of is a culmination of my life's work. The crowning achievement of my career. The first scene is set in the 1980s. I call it Zombies in Spaceland. Hang on to your seats! <laughs> he is so not kidding. You still say this is all for effect? Forget what I said! I say, get me the hell out of here! What's with the Letterman jacket? And the bling! It appears our wardrobes reflect the parts we're auditioning for. And clearly, I'm the nerd. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. He shoots! He scores! Letterman Jack. Damn it! Mm, no matter. The rave will surely end their silly little existences once and for all. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
no, no. Where the hell are we now, Bathos? I think the other question is, when the hell are we? We're not in the 80s anymore, dude. Yo, how about who the hell are we? Grunge, really? <laughs> Looks like I got your old gig, Andre. I don't know about you guys, but at least we aren't in that demented theme park anymore. Yo, shut up, hey? I heard something. Listen. Oh, shit, man. We got zombies again. You have got to be kidding me, man. <laughs> Previously on Zombies. person steals hard-working people's money and then funds their own ventures with it. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but this guy should get the book thrown at him. The data is clear. They've lost nearly 70% of their market value following the results of this investigation. Honestly, I don't know if Macintosh and Macintosh can survive this. The world wants to know, where has Arthur Macintosh gone? <laughs> Zombies. The world wants to know, where has Arthur McIntosh gone? my lovely videotape worms. Looking for a scary good time tonight, huh? A little romp in the dark, perhaps? Well, you've come to the right place. That is, if you're looking to end up as a permanent fixture in this black and white hellhole I've been calling home lately. But hey, you and I are in for one hell of a ride tonight. You know, I have to say, when I said I wanted to part in one of Willard's movies, I didn't mean permanently. Sheesh, your gal shows a little interest, and the next thing you know, they're putting you up on our shelf. What is it with the men in my afterlife? It's been hell watching this movie over and over again. But with you on the scene, I've got a new script that's just dying to sink its teeth into you. I mean, I bent over backwards to give this thing a rewrite. Which is odd, because usually bending over forward is so much more useful. <laughs> oh, I just kill myself sometimes. So what do you say? Let's give little Willie some unpleasant dreams. Oh man, who the hell turned off all the color? I'll give you one guess. Uh, Willard! Bingo. Surprise, surprise. 